we're very pleased to welcome you here to the, the Smart Cities MOU signing. And thank you. I'm Jean Duncan. I'm the Director of Transportation and Stormwater Services for the City of Tampa. Also a proud USF alumni of the College of Engineering, uh, Civil Engineering, and Industrial Engineering. And so happy to be back, and I'm here frequently, but I'm always happy to be back at USF. It's just, just a great university, and you know we've gone so far under um, President Genshaft, and we're going to go even further with other great things we're doing with the Center for Urban Transportation Research. So Rob actually surprised me with a little script here. I'm going to try to stay <laughs> on point and give you a little bit of information about this MOU that we're signing. One thing that we all want, we want everyone to know is we all know a little bit about technology, but we, none of us know everything. So we're all, there's, there's no dumb questions. There's always more to learn. And we're all trying to catch up with things that are ahead of us and uh, trying to keep up with other cities and, and their innovation. So we'll give you a little bit of background and then we'll go from yeah. there. Thank you, Gene. And we thought that you might have three questions uh, on, on your mind right now. First of all, what is an MOU? What is a smart city, number two? And then number three, why are we doing this? So I, we thought we would quickly um, answer those questions for you and satisfy you before we do the signing. Uh, the first thing is, what is an MOU? A memorandum of understanding. I was once taught that an MOU between two entities, in this case between the University of South Florida and the city of Tampa, basically is a public statement that we want to work together. So the MOU that has actually already been executed by the city council and by USF basically says that our two uh, institutions want to work together um, to solve problems and um, so there usually are some advantages to both parties in such, a, such an MOU. Absolutely. This formalizes the really good collaborative working relationship we've had for some time now. It endorses the vision and support we've had from both of our leaders with Mayor Buckhorn and President Genshaft. And it makes it more of a status a relationship as we go out to other locations, go apply for grants. It gives us a little bit more of a status and clout. Uh, to take the leveraging of our resources to the next level. Yes, and so the second question is, what is a smart city? Aren't all cities smart already? Well, the idea with smart cities is, uh, the most simple definition that I like to use is basically we're using data and technology to improve people's lives. And most of us got into this business, whether it's civil engineering or city leadership, university leadership, we're out there trying to make the world better and trying to help our fellow citizens do what they want to do on a daily basis. So the, the nice thing about the smart cities construct is that it also includes concepts of equity. So we're also thinking about our community as, as a bunch of equals. And so no citizen or no group is any less important um, in the smart city construct. Um, there are visions for connecting citizens with our uh, city government, with our government more broadly, so that we can hear from them, so we can help use that as input for decision making. So you could, you could envision uh, Mayor Buckhorn in his office having a dashboard that says, well, here is the pulse of the city of Tampa today. And so with sensors and with data and wireless communications, um, that, that is increasingly um, possible. I also wanted to mention, yes, we do transportation at Cutter, but but smart cities is more, more than just about transportation. It's about healthcare, it's about energy, it's about water and waste, all the things that we kind of take for granted in our society. Many, many things that are, are, are done by civil engineers, uh, but the average citizen probably doesn't know that much about. So part of it, that is also helping to educate our fellow citizens about how, you know, how they're uh, operating in our environment. And yes, Rob, as you said, the smart city, we want to be fully connected on all levels, not just on the transportation front. And this uh, relationship that we are formalizing today is going to add, as I said, more status to uh, opportunities that we have already seen on the USF campus to actually have a living lab on the campus. Uh, we're doing some other pilot projects within the city of Tampa as well that are going to take ideas and technology, try them out, put them on for size, see how they fit, and it's also going to get us a, a foot onto the national stage with other cities who have taken this step as well. We always want to keep up or be ahead of our other cities out there because uh, we want to keep our USF and other good talent here in the city and want our young people to stay here and not leave, as Mayor Buckhorn frequently reminds all the young people, you better not leave. So exactly. this is another way to try to do that. 
And so, you know, why are we doing this? Well, one reason is that there's a network of city university partners called the Metro Lab Network. They're uh, based at Carnegie Mellon University. There are 35 university city pairs uh, as part of that network. And we are uh, in the process of applying to join that network. So we will be the second uh, city university pair in the state of Florida to be part of the Metro Lab Network. And one of the requirements is to have an MOU and uh, to have projects underway. So we, we believe we've already submitted the MOU to Metro Lab and we've, all, we've just about completed the application. We want to attach a photo of this uh, occasion to that application. So we're excited to join th the rest of these partnerships who are focused on research, development, and deployment of new technologies and approaches to urban challenges. And I would say that one of our focal points here is not just talking and thinking about things, but actually doing things. And that's why we feel it's great uh, to work with the city of Tampa because they are all about deployment, getting things done. And we at the university can help with our students, with our laboratories. We can help evaluate and uh, consider, uh, compare and analyze alternatives and help the city make, uh, make decisions. Yes, and uh, another next step that we're going to be taking, we had a, a kickoff meeting to form a Smart City Alliance. We're very impressed with all of the cities and counties that are very interested in being part of this. We want to make sure that we're all making smart infrastructure decisions collectively so that we are staying connected with each other. When you go from Pasco to Hillsboro to Pinellas County, things are seamless. And we have some really early wins that we're going to be putting out under that alliance that we can do through the TB Next project, specific things, again, not just talk. Uh, and we're looking forward to bringing in the private sector, academia, and government agencies together to really leverage our resources and make smart investments, share our information with each other, and make sure we're connecting on all levels and be a true smart city. And before we move on with the program, I just wanted to offer a couple of quick acknowledgments. Uh, many people have helped uh, get us as far as we are, including setting up this event. So I'd like to acknowledge Vic Bide from the city, um, Ken Spitz uh, from FDOT, Alice Price from Atkins, Phil Winters and Sean Barbeau, and Christine Epps from Cutter, and Marcy Kornfeld from the College of Engineering. So thanks, everyone, for, for all of your help. Um, and I think I <clears throat> certainly want to reiterate the, the thanks that we have for the mayor and President Genshaft to allow all of our creative juices to flow and work together. And I also want to thank our agency partners. Some of this is a little unknown to folks, but they're willing to listen and get involved. John Lyons is here from the county, Margaret Smith from Pasco County. A lot of the agencies came in and, and drove a good distance and gave up a, a half a day to listen to our ideas a few months ago, which I know they had similar ideas, so it was all we, it's all been on our minds that we, we got together and know we can take things to the next level. So. Thank you all for supporting this, participating, and this is another great milestone in the collaboration with the City of Tampa, the Center for Urban Transportation Research, and all of our other agencies that are going to really take us to the next level. Great. Thank you very much. I'd also like to acknowledge Secretary David Gwynn from District 7 for being here as well, our, our across-the-street neighbor. We really appreciate that. So our, our next uh, speaker um, is the Dean of the College of Engineering, uh, Dr. Robert Bishop, and I would like to ask him to come forward. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. So as a Dean of the College of Engineering, I'm particularly excited about establishing this idea of a smart and connected city. So I'm not a civil engineer, but I am an electrical computer engineer, and autonomous systems always uh, fascinated me, and I'm very much looking forward to this uh, you know, partnership. The college's 10-year strategic plan is called Engineering Lives for the Better, because that's what engineers do. We apply technology to improve the lives of others. Whether that technology is in the form of a medical application to monitor or improve your health, <clears throat> or to efficiently and safely connect all of our citizens to the city and to each other. The Center for uh, Urban Transportation Research and the City of Tampa, through this Smart Cities initiatives, will implement innovations to achieve a more effective and efficient partnership while improving the lives of all of our citizens. 
This partnership will showcase Tampa as a vibrant, innovative, and sustainable community while developing technologies, methods, and models for use across the country and really around the world. It will also showcase the role that our students and our faculty will play in learning and in discovery. And the idea of our campus and laboratories as proving grounds for this technology. So uh, I'm very excited uh, that the College of Engineering and Cutter is uh, playing a role in this partnership. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Judy Genshaft, the president of the University of South Florida System. President. Well, thank you very much. It's great to see everybody here today. And we were holding off the weather. I brought my umbrella so it won't be rainy when you leave or anything. But it's, it's, this is really, really a fabulous opportunity. And, and I'm not competitive or anything, but what is the other city, smart city collaboration that went on in Florida before us? We'll discuss that later. Ah, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Well, let me just say to all of you here that are in this room and beyond, I say this, think of any great urban area. Just think of one around the nation, any other besides ours, any others. You've got one in your head? Put, tell me one. What? New York, City. New York City. Good. Anybody else? Fresno. Fresno. Yes. All right. Any anybody else? Oh, we'll <laughs> Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Good. Every big urban great area has a research university. Every single one. And we are so privileged at University of South Florida to be the research university of our fabulous urban area. And so to me, every great city, every great urban area has a research university, and a research university is a part of every big urban area. We're like Siamese twins. And it's because the University of South Florida has as its responsibility to be an economic engine, to discover new innovations and inventions and what, to bring new discoveries to the marketplace and to bring, bring best practices out to the world, out to our region. But we work very much simultaneously and together. So the two of you, we're just like, wow, let's bring Mayor Buckhorn right up with me right now. Come on up. Because we work together. We work together. <laughs> you know, I, I, I believe this in my bones. I really think it's, our, it's what we do. And so to have this uh, MOU, to sign anything with the mayor is a privilege for us, and we, we know that we're gonna make a difference for this region. And you ask anybody in this region, what's our most pressing problem? And that is transportation. And that is one of our most pressing problems. Whatever form it takes, it's just you know the, the issue of the day right now. But what you're gonna do through this smart city really is something that's beyond, you're gonna have almost like a grid, like you had said. So I, I'm so much a proponent of this. I can't tell you, I'm just glad that both of you have worked together to make this happen. And again, it's, it's the mayor and my honor to be able to sign such good work. So thank you so much. Ta-da, <laughs> ta-da, ta-da. Ta -da. I don't know if I was supposed to introduce you or not. But here's our fabulous mayor. <laughs> and I, 
I've never quite been introduced like that. That was yeah. good. Well, can you, can you wearing, come with I'm me wherever green. I go? I'm wearing green. He's Irish. You know? I, I'm indeed wearing I am. green, but yeah. yeah. I'm still recovering from how Irish I am. <laughs> we actually, we turned the city green for USF. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Those of you who had a chance to come downtown this weekend saw the, uh, the USF green. Uh, taking on, taking over the entire river along with a lot of folks indulging in adult beverages. So, um, first of all, President Genshaf, thank you. You know, if you think about, and, and, and she touched on this, if you think about successful cities around the country and cities that we compete with and cities that are emerging as um, meccas for job creation, for intellectual capital, for talent, both here and abroad, um, as attractors for what will be the next iteration of this country. Um, we compete with those cities every day. And there was a time and a place when state government was looked upon as laboratories of the democracy. That has ceased to exist. It is the urban areas and the metro areas of America that are not only the petri dishes of innovation and technology, it's where the jobs are being created, it is where the talent is flowing, it is where the entrepreneurs are going. And at the heart and soul of that are cities that have major research universities within their boundaries. That economic engine, that cluster of urban innovation and bright young academics and the economic development engine that is USF is a formula for success. It is what differentiates us from our competitors. It is what allows us to drive forward and become that place in America where the best and the brightest want to be. It is what has allowed us as a community to rise from the ashes of the recession to change Tampa's economic DNA, to become the place where talent wants to be. Much of it is housed right here in this university. And so for us to be able to join with our partners here, to look at creative solutions to the economic and to the transportation challenges that we face is an opportunity that we shouldn't turn down, and nor will we, to create that smart city grid, to look at the urban analytics, to look at the potential that exists with autonomous vehicles, to find ways to provide mobility options for our community, to recognize that it's not just all about roads, it's about having options. It's about finding solutions. And I would tell you, because I'm in these discussions every day, the Achilles heel for our community is transportation. And until we resolve that, until we find solutions for that, not just more road building, but smarter roads, smarter grids, rail, HOV, autonomous vehicles, combined to, to allow the people that live here, particularly millennials, to be able to live, work, and play in the same environment and not have to have a car and reduce our carbon footprint at the same time. It's good governance. It's smart politics. It's good economics. It helps our bottom line. That is what we are engaged in here. That's what this partnership is all about. It's taking advantage of the array of talent that exists at this university and moving it from the classroom out to the marketplace, moving it from academics to real-world application taking the brains and the brawn of this university and deploying it to f solve social issues and transportation issues and economic issues. I could not have a better partner than Judy Genshaft and USF. Now let's go get it done. Thanks. Yay. Go Bulls. <laughs> so we have a ceremonial signing of the Smart Cities MOU. Okay. Drum roll. Please go ahead. <laughs> Sign above your name. <laughs> and now you can swap. Excellent. Fantastic. Thank you very much.